And welcome back to the Arkham Megalo. Um, yeah, we got some more progress done. Uh, I don't think I actually saved. Come to think of it, because we're starting, we're going to be starting the second half with uh, Link to the Past. I don't think I actually saved the state of the tracker. It's not a huge deal because uh, I don't have entrance shuffle, but still. A little annoying if that's the case. Yeah, I didn't say it. I think what I what happened is like I closed the game first and then emo tracker locked up because it does that. Hydration achieved. Uh, anyway, let's look at the um, the status so far here. Uh, so we have today played uh, Meredith Sky Den, uh, put that into limited progress. Uh, Time Spinner is now in BK mode, and Tunic I've uh, marked as limited progress. There's still some where it says limited progress. The blue dots is where I can still potentially get some items. Uh, it's not in BK mode, but I can't progress. There's no logical progression. So let's get into... Thank you for the resub, Zero. Uh, let's get into Link to the Past. Once I press all of the correct buttons so that you can see it. Uh, is hot. There we go. Boom. We have a sword. And some rupees. And we got Quake, and we got the King, and we got a glove. Well, we've already played too, Nick. That's a mama and a cave. Alright, well, we got a chunk of things that we can do. Uh, and there's actually not a whole lot looking at the tracker. Um, and now we have a sword. Sword, 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 sword. My neighbors all like sword, 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 sword for four, four, the board, the mark board. I know, right, Zero? Alright, so since we don't have Entrance Shuffle and I don't have any bombs, I'm going to go refill on that first. Without fear of getting obliterated by rats. and yet getting obliterated by them anyway. I think I did check what was at um, King's Aura, and I remember it not being great. But I also remember uh, the Bottle Vendor having a um, treasure bumper, which might bring it up to eight.
Uh, that is at least seven, if not eight. And if that is eight, then uh, that would be progression. Bug Kid has some money. Um, saving Kit could get back to uh, to the house here. So now there's uh, three chests that I'm going to be able to get from Sassafras. Apparently... Oh yeah, I can get on the mountain. It requires dark rooming, but I can. Get these chests real quick. Chili dog, shattered orb, and another waddle d, which I think might bring it up to fifty now. I'd really like to know where Cone Mouth is for Kirby, but um. Unfortunately, I don't have enough checks in Kirby to uh, actually ask for a hint. And I would like to avoid using the, uh, the spoiler log. We do have Dungeon Shuffle. This is the back of Skull Woods. Alright, uh, Entrance Shuffle is Dungeon. Stream Palace Entrance leads to the back of Skull Woods. I'm also going to make sure to save. It is going to be important to actually uh, save the state of the um, of the map, considering that uh, dungeons aren't where they need to be. I think that's the only check that I can get back here. Uh, there's not a whole lot more that I can do. Uh, I think the castle led to the castle, right? Because when you have du when you have a dungeon shuffle, typically they'll still like any dungeons that are one entrance are going to be a mix with dungeons that are one entrance. Yes, that is Hyrule Castle entrance. Um, so I think... Oh, what am I doing? There we go. 
I'm gonna go up to um, Heber Mountain. It's not in logic, but also I can absolutely get there. Especially now that I have a sword. Just need to remember how to do this. Right. Just because I've done this before doesn't mean that I exactly remember how to do it. I may need to get a map. have a map saved somewhere. There we go. Uh, here's the maps for... Here we go. Okay, I got it. So that's falling down a ledge. And keep moving to the right as much as possible. Oh, okay. Man. I get this, I promise. Now whether I'm going to survive, that's a different story. There we go. On to the second screen. Go down a little bit, then follow the wall. All the way to the right, go a little down, swing. And keep going down and I'm out. And then just don't die. And there we go. I got a key to somewhere. Ganon's Tower. Great. And I can respawn here now. Whew. You don't see where a mouthful code is, cone is needed? Maybe I am... Um, Maybe I can get through with Soda, just like the way that I remember seeing the stage, I need a cone mouth to continue. I can take another look at it. Probably won't be tonight though. Okay, so now that I'm here, Yeah, I, I still got my 100% file. I can just go in that and see, I, see if I can finish the first level without using Code Mouth. I, do I have Soda Mouth? Uh, current inventory. Arch Mouth, Car Mouth, Coaster Mouth. 
Ring mouth, scissor lift mouth, stairs mouth, and storage mouth. What's storage mouth? And water balloon mouth. I have most of the mouthful modes, but I don't have soda machine or, ma or cone. Yeah, that spike cave. I don't know what I was expecting to find here. Because everything is red. But there is one orange location up here. Now, fortunately, I have the, uh, thank you, Fridge. Fortunately, I have the, the progressive armor here, so. I'm actually a little more survivable. Yeah, maybe. I think I know what you're talking about. Do I have the mirror? I don't have the mirror, do I? Okay, uh, there is one check here in the cave that I can get, though. And that is not the way to get it. And everyone was happier that way, Jewel, especially me. Like, it literally just started again right before starting the stream. Oh, that is a shield for a Ruin Seeker. Small key palace of darkness can be found in a basement. Cool. Um, but I think that is going to put uh Yeah, that is gonna put this game in BK mode. Alright, so, uh, I'll make sure to get done with, uh, emo tracker first. So, Link to the Past is in BK, do it. Uh, I think Next stop is going to be Symphony of the Night, because uh, last time we left off on that game, I still, have, I still had a fair amount of stuff that I could do, but we ran out of time. So that's what we're going to do this time.
not really sure why it's uh, still says changing games. That's curious. Did it change the... Uh... Oh, okay. Now I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Symphony of the Night. This controller keeps disconnecting too. It's everything is just breaking down. Atrophy of the universe. And also, it's still doing the thing where if I full screen uh, Castlevania specifically, it squishes the display for some reason. So I have to play this in a window. Um, biz hot client, biz hot connector. Theoretically, it should be working. There we go. Connect. Okay, um, so just to clarify skill of wolf, yeah, special move as wolf. So this does not allow me to turn into a wolf. It allows me to, I think, dash as a wolf. Um, I forget if there's a track, I always forget if there's trackers for like everything. Yeah, no, there isn't. But we're going by the map. Yes! Of course, it's possible that there is actually a tracker by now, and just I don't have it. I look beyond the. What? What are you talking about, Joe? Uh, will you be on the toilet? I, I hope not. Oh! Symphony of the Night Power Grip! Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Um, yeah, Metroid Zero Mission is available again. That's a hazard bumper. I'm still not on level 2, so that doesn't do anything yet for me, but uh, I have either 7 or 8 um, treasure bumpers at this point, so if I have 8, then I can progress to level 2. That is Cacton Fruit. And Heart Vessel. I don't think I can actually get up there. Probably is something up there, but not within my reach. Same as there. I would need to 
be able to turn into bat or uh, fog for that. A couple rooms down here. I think this is leading to a uh, warp room. Yeah. Uh, where is the closest warp room to that staircase area? I think. I think it's the one at the clock tower. Either the clock tower or the one near the start of the game. I'm gonna go at the one uh, right here. Always give it a save for good measure. Funny spit. Uh, it's not really an orb, it's more of a dodecahedron. No, that's 12 sides. Icosahedron? Yeah, Icosahedron, that's a 20 sided one. I can let you dream. I mean, th this is this is the PlayStation One after all. You don't have a whole lot of quality. Sleeping in a D twenty nerd. So can go up there. And this, this high jump is not as high as I would like it to be. How high do you want to get? <laughs> I can't go through this way. I can't go through the other end though. So that's what we're gonna have to do. I mean, I do live in Canada, so it's not exactly illegal. And still can't talk about it too much unless I unless I put on like the the proper stream flags. Really nice, which I think is this weapon actually. Um, no, this is the rune sword. How is the Luminous? Come to think of it. Luminous. This one's Luminous. Sword forged by L. Oh! It's actually better. But. It's not long range. 
What I could do actually is um just put the put the rune sword on the other hand, because I'm not using the, the shield anyway. So I can have the stronger short range attack. And the slightly weaker long range attack. We got options. Oh. Okay. I need to go around the long, long way. I see. I should have gotten off at the uh at the clock tower after all. Well, in answer to uh the Jules question. I should have ta taken a right turn at Albuquerque. I gotta wait for the minute here to pass. Oh geez. Yeah, look at the time, 37, so we gotta wait another 23 seconds. So how's everyone doing? Hope you're having a good night. I mean, as far as war stores, there's this one here that I literally have to stop time to open. Less than average amount of suffering? Well, at least there's that. That's a, that's one victory. The Curry and watching Symphony of the Night. It's a good time. So yeah, now I need to just go straight off to the left. So this should give us access to a little stairway area. Ah! I think that's doable. It's just going to be a hard jump to make. Yeah, there we go. More health. Can't argue with that. Oh, 
I have all of the right mage. That's the nice thing with uh, with this sword is I can actually swing it diagonally down, which does help in some cases. This one a little more limited. Uh, Fifty dollars for tunic. Fifty cubies or whatever. I'm not really. Give. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, some of the games do require a lot of checks for one hand. Just by virtue of the fact that they have a lot of checks. I feel like that's makeable. Is it? And this requires just if I can make this, it's like a perfect double jump. Uh, Teasing me. I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. An effigy for a Rune Seeker. Can I jump on you? The answer is no. Is this gonna be another one? Ah man, that looks like it makes it. That is just barely not enough. It ah man. Crystals for virtue. Tell him to use his hands to grip. Unfortunately, he can't do that. That is something for uh, for Samus to do. Which we might be asking her to do that real quick here, actually. And this is just going to lead to that uh, magical door we can't get past. I wonder if there's anything else that I can do. I wish I had like a cursor that I could like... Well, I guess I can... I can turn on cursor capture. It is capture cursor. There we go. So there is this here. I don't remember how you get down there. I don't know that there is anything else that I can possibly do. Given the items that I have. So I think... I'm gonna scout this and see if that's something that I can do right now. It's probably not. And then I'll mark this probably as BK. But I think I need more vertical. It's the only way that I'm gonna get to, to like here or here. 
spike breaker would let us get through this. And there's a couple of items here that we can only get uh, with more vertical. So that's the plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna scout that little bit there and see if I can do anything there. If not, then I'll mark it as BK. And I may be marking it as BK prematurely, I'm not sure. Because I don't know enough about this game. I, well, I don't know enough about this game in Rando, specifically. Ah, uh, there's a non-zero chance of that, Grim. And, like, I, I am more than happy to play Kirby, but, uh... It does need to be something that I can do. Yeah, both of these swords are pretty strong in their own regards, and each of them does something the other can't. So I'm pretty happy with this weapon loadout. Yeah, the flying sword doesn't exactly keep up. It might be a little more useful for bosses, but also, like, my weapons are overpowered right now. Special appearance by the fridge. Okay, so the answer is no, I can't do anything here. I don't remember how to open this. Is this one of those things where you like need the gold ring and the silver ring or something? I'm guessing that the other down path over here is probably the same thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Um, what was up here? Alright, I think this is stuck then. There we go. So yeah, um, I'm gonna save and uh, listen, this is the clock tower, okay? It's called the clock tower because this is where the clocks are stored. I mean, there very well could be Grim. Anyway, um, transition out. Now we're going to close that, and we're going to say that uh, Symphony of the Night is in BK. Again, may or may not be accurate, but as far as I am aware, that seems to be the case. So let us go ahead and switch over to Zero Mission. Actually, that one does have a track. Zero Mission. So now we got power grip, which uh, will allow Samus to get out of this little predicament she's got herself into. As well as an energy tank, missile tank, charge beam. Another energy tank. There's the power grip. Actually, just so we don't have to go through all of those again in the case that we might die. Let's save again for good measure. There we go. What's there? Uh, so where am I? I'm there. Okay. <laughs> Come 
completely whiff that charge attack. Oh my goodness. Charge attack with short beam is uh, not ideal. Whoops, my powers falls in together. I mean, my question, my main question is not how does she lose all of her powers every time. It's how is it that every, like, no matter where she goes, she can always get them back. If I'm reading this map right, it leads to Kraid. I don't know that I want to fight Kraid right now. Then again, I just saved. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, three shots. Hey, Kraid. Dare you to rip to roar again. Rip roar in good time, let's go. I think this is why Crate is not in logic right now. There we go. Not in logic, but we got it anyway. took every single missile we had and then some. And then I also just wasted four missiles there for no reason. Green tea to all the card. I guess as a thank you for uh, for sending that power grip. It's like thanks for that thanks for that item that I desperately needed. Take a second and uh, have a cup of tea. I need speed boost for that. But yeah, Kraid, like looking at the tracker, Kraid was like strictly in glitch logic. It was red, and we got it anyway. There's a check over here. Don't trust you. 
Um, so it should be around here somewhere. There it is. Star coins. Anything else over here? Nope. See if I can get a uh, power bomb or two here. Unfortunately, power bomb seems to be the rarest drop. This should be a save, and also there's an additional path here that leads to somewhere. This uh, this map is not really clear on where it goes, but I need screw attack to get there. Oh, that's still not working. Oh no. Oh, that's not ideal. Ah, man, I almost made it. It is definitely doable, it's just real tricky. Oh, <laughs> all right. Understood, that platform is, uh, is combustible. I was trying to see if I could get some of those bugs out of the way early. Power bombs, please. I don't think I can hit that one with a missile as a thing. So what if I... Yeah, I got rid of like half of them. Oh no! That's a long path. Actually, what if I draw them out, go back, kill them, and just keep doing that until they're all dead? That's probably, uh... Let's use the, grapp use the grappling beam on what? For one thing, that is not an item in this game. For another thing, I'm not really sure where I would use it. Because like this this doodad here is offline. It has no power. I can't use it. Ah
I would really like at least one power bomb. I mean, I know I have one on hand, but like another one would be nice. Okay, it's harmful, but it's working. And then I miss my jump. Like, the problem is, I'm pretty sure that's the only way that I'm going to get out of here. destroys like half of them. Ah, oh, God! Ugh. friggin' door. I suppose that was bound to happen. If only that was an option. I think once I get back up there, I'm gonna put down a save state because this is getting kind of ridiculous. Also, hang on. Is this game doing the same thing? Yeah, this game is doing the same thing. Where it's like squishing if I put it to full screen. I just noticed that. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, is there something that I can set here? If I use one to one pixel size. Now it's still doing that. Why is it doing that? Let me 
me try something. Is it because I have this filter? I don't have the filter. That is weird. If I maximize, it's the same thing. The problem is, if I play it like the at regular size, it's friggin' tiny. Okay. I've got it up to four times size. It looks fine. We're gonna play it like this. Okay. They've stayed. Also, I just remembered that this is a thing. Now that's not helping at all. Like, we, we've proven that I can get here. I feel like me doing this continuously is not going to add anything to the experience. Could have made it. <sighs> yeah, the the problem is like this room is not meant to be done the way that I'm doing it. It's designed this way on purpose because you're supposed to use the turbo shaft or whatever it is. This thing to get through, but it's off. Opinions fridge.
Yeah, I've also already tried doing a uh, charge space jump. Um, it's not strong enough to take these guys out. Like, the only other thing that I can think of is to try to juke them, but the fact is, I still kind of have to move forward. Like, I'm glad that I can at least respin. But like I have to do it just right or else I just fall. And as soon as I touch the uh the acid down there, like that's it. I'm falling. Okay. Desperate times. That I pressed the wrong button, that's what happened there. I need to get started. No, I'm actually losing height by doing that. Okay. I the idea now is like do the the jumping that I was doing before, but when I get knocked out, I have this which kind of it's um, auto fire A to try to get back into it. That might work if I do it just right. Thank you. 
Get in there, Samus. The fuck out of here. Okay. It took a small amount of cheating, but I'm fine with that. We can actually get to other places now. Now the reason I'm going over here is because there is a check. That I should have access to. Especially now that we have the power grip. How do I charge what things? Oh good, cold platters. Just what I needed. Let's let's go find a Chozo statue. Oh, this is not where I need to go. Uh I think there's a boss I need to kill. I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, the check that is over here is showing up as red, so I'm not going to try. I think right now I need to go find a Chozo statue and refill. Like that is my prime concern. Actually, yeah this is broken down now so I can actually come through here. So this is the Chozo statue that's supposed to give you your next piece of the story. So there is one check that is showing up. As uh, obtainable right now. I have enough abilities that I feel like I should be able to get pretty much anything. That uh, is showing up as green. Never hurts to be prepared.
basically I need to go pretty much to the top of this. Okay. Somewhere near here there should be... There it is. Oh, this is one way. I need to come at this from the other side. Understood. I just need a, uh, no, I need a super missile to get rid of these guys. Chinese bun to a la card. When green tea and a Chinese bun. Uh, that's everything that I can get in uh, Brinstar. That Norfair. There's a couple of checks I can get in Norfair. I'm not even going toward Norfair at all right now. Once again, I um, kind of ended up autopiloting into the wrong direction. Oof, sea doodles. So let me check the map for Criteria. There are a couple of checks that I apparently have access to. Ridley's Lair has a bunch of them. That are lit up green. So the move here that it might be expecting me to make is go down to Norfair and there's just blitz down to Ridley's Lair. Switch this to Ridley. That's uh, Norfair. Okay, I think I might have been um, locked behind the power grip here previously. Death point? 
Death Point for Asta. What does that mean? So this will actually lead up to Criteria. I don't think I can get up there. Should be oh, there it is. Five levels of Trina Sam. Ah. Don't remember which one is Sam. Oh, there's still some checks around here. And that block is still solid, so I can't get there. Ah, uh, that requires power bomb, and I don't have one. What I'm getting at here is it looks like in order to do anything here, I'm going to need to at least go back and find. Uh, chose a statue. Uh, no fear. And there isn't really one nearby. Oh, this is going back here. Bombs would be great. Any time game. That's one. I'll make do with two. Once again, outlining the critical importance of regular power ball, of regular uh, morph ball bombs. I guess they are regular power bombs. The, the regular power bombs and the power power bombs. It's like the Mario Brothers, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. I guess I'm just moving on. There's some misses. 
I don't arc over them. Uh, and uh, that's as far as this goes. A Bowser Koopa. And then you have either Princess Peach Toadstool or Princess Toadstool Peach, which is never really made clear. I think the Mario Wiki lists it as Princess Peach Toadstool. I feel like maybe it was that, like, her given name was kept a secret for many years because she didn't really much care for it, but then someone, <clears throat> Bowser, blabbed, and so now everyone knows, and she's like, ah, I may as well just use it then, and everyone says, no, nah, it's it's cute, like, every, everyone likes that name, it's like, I don't know that name. Yeah, I would like one power bomb, please. Just one. Shows a statue. Not for a while. Let's hope that I don't need any power bombs then. Welcome back, Benny. Don't mind that, that's just the fridge dying again. I think I actually need a power bomb to get down there as a thing.
What if what if she's Princess Powerbomb Peach? There are some places I could potentially go with that, but I'm uh, once again trying very hard not to uh, exceed my stream labels. <laughs> Princess Power Thirst Peach! The monarchs who need gratuitous amounts of energy. All right, the the nearest Chozo statue is a ways out, but at this point it would have been shorter just to go there and come back. Oh, for fuck's sake. You'll make so many cakes, 400 cakes. Infuse your cakes with chocolate, and you'll be good at sports. Somehow. Yeah, so the problem now is that I'm literally stuck behind here. I need one power bomb game. One. And then I can go get four more of which I will need to spend one to get back here. Yeah, I feel like this drop rate is just completely random. I know that some later games have a more weighted drop rate. Okay, yeah. There's like a passage somewhere here that is currently in the red and I can't get through. Probably need like speed booster. I feel like most of what is going to be to still be locked at this point is going to be locked behind speed booster. Not everything. But a lot of it. At the very least, like, I appreciate that this game does have the Chozo statues that just refill all of your, uh, your consumables. Because, like, the only way that I can heal on save in uh, Super Metroid is because it was hacked in. here. I'm probably not going to just get it on the way, but it uh, doesn't hurt to try. Back to Norfair.
I'm still gonna try killing everything along the way to see if I can possibly get a power bomb. Please tell me I can get down there. I need the fucking speed booster or the screw attack. I don't have either of these things. So how does the game want me to get... Is there some things that, that it's saying that I can get here? There's a fucking statue right here. I'm an idiot. Okay, that doesn't wake up until I... Well... Cool. So the problem is, the reason that I didn't see that there was a statue here is because I was looking at the map on the tracker, and there's also a check in this room, and so the check appears in front of everything else. I think last time I was here, I did. I might not have had the uh, space jump. And then there's another statue right fucking here. Ah, this is what was holding me back last time. Wait, there's a check in that room. Where is there a check in this room? There it is. Ah, uh, needy risotto. More food. More virtual food for a virtual character. Fuck. There's something over on that side. This is not how to get there. I'm pretty sure that uh, that room that I was just in is how to actually get to... Um, down to Ridley's Lair. Like, looking at the map, I don't really see any other way that I can possibly get there, given my current equipment. Oh my goodness, get up there! What are you doing, Samus? Oh my goodness. There we go. That should not have taken 5,000 jumps. to save here. <laughs> Might freeze for a second, that's fine. Oh, 
But how do I get... Oh! I saw that. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, first, let me get out of here. Second, I need to aim a missile right there. There we go. This is the back route. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's use a missile there. Save room. Saving here is probably a really bad idea. Wouldn't be the first bad idea I've tried in this run. Jewel, you don't need to point out when the stream will be over. I will point it out when it happens. Okay. So here I am in Ridley's lair. weird kind of arc on that jump. Five levels of Black Mage.
Pretty easy assumption that uh, that last room drops out into somewhere. All right. Well, thanks for thanks for coming in, Grim. For hanging out. Um. Oh, geez. Hi. That's a little further in. Farther in, sorry. The Russian item here, five levels of Astromancer. Oh geez. Yeah, there are three of these guys and they all take several hits. It's not ideal. I think I can still profit off of this, it is just a lot more annoying. Map room. And that is more or less what this uh, area looks like, aside from a couple of side paths. Resist stone for all the card. Save once again. You know, for being extremely ill-equipped to be here, I, f I feel like I'm doing pretty well. through that just yet. Thank you. 
Let me see. There's, really, there's like several little pockets of checks. I was just trying to figure out where I need to go to get any of these. Rare stone to slot a woman. Super missile. Another meaty risotto. And there should be a check right here. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it's an advancement check. It is. Tooth of Vlad. I mean, that's going to be important. I don't know that it gives me anything right now. Well, we are indeed almost done with this dream, but this path leads to Ridley. I'm going to give it one try right now. I promise nothing. I guess this is, this is going to be a little bit akin to what Zero likes to do at the end of some streams where uh, we have to end on a, on a death screen. That's what's going to happen. Loss because I'm going to need every single point if I want to have any chance of survival. I wonder what's up here. Is it just an exit? Oh, it's an exit, but I need to be able to open this up, which is probably opened up by um, getting the check behind Ridley. Thanks for showing up, I guess. I nice sort of to slot four. Oh, I guess uh, I guess I was lying about there about there being a Ridley fight here. Oh, wait, what's there? He is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's about how I expected that to go. In fact, I think I got a little more damage than I thought I would get. Ah, <sighs> but that's okay. I didn't think I was going to win, and I didn't win, and that's fine. But uh, that is going to do it for today. So uh, if y'all want to hang around, I think Arborelli is streaming. And we can go raid her. Let me go check. And she's doing some tournament practice for AD Keys for uh, Link to the Past. So let's, uh, let's go give her some encouragement, I think. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Thank you to uh, Zero, Donut, Grim, J-Pop, Jewel, and uh, Benny and Elia for being here. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, or possibly later if there are any uh, technical difficulties. 
it is the Sunday Super Shuffle. More Archipelago shenanigans, as if I don't do that enough on my channel. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, Archimegalo stream. Uh, next, uh, what is it? Next Tuesday at 8 p.m. At 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. I know my times. I swear. I promise. It's more, more of these shenanigans. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, um, that was loud beeping. Oh, well, that was outside. I apologize. Not much I can do about what happens outside. But we're going to go raid our Borrelia. Give her some, some cheer um, for her uh, tournament practice. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio, if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.